Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de France. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And finally, the forwards, Neymar plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Mendy. Vinicius. Now with Benzema. Wonderful chance! Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. He's got space. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Lionel Messi. The supporters want to see him have a go. Excellent save from Thibaut Courtois. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Message for the parents of the little Hugo Ivano how to dispossess your opponent Mbappe and just wide of the target goal kick well I think the goalkeeper had it covered but it was a decent effort though Real did well to regain control of the ball Modric. And a strong tackle. Mendy. Is with Vinicius Junior. Vinicius. And he takes on the shot. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. In the right place to cut out the pass. This is looking threatening. Luka Modric. Now with Benzema. A real defensive commitment there. Vinicius Junior. Oh, good looking run. Mbappe on his own with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Oh, he's through here. 
And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Tony Kroos. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Excellent first half showing from Neymar in this game, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second. Into the second half then, and Real doing the chasing. Verratti. Now with Hakimi. Just made sure nothing came of that. And not cleared away properly. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Given away by Real Madrid. Plenty of support here. And a no-nonsense clearance. Unable to keep the ball that time. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? He can't hold on to it. Well, he didn't plant the seed of fear on the goalkeeper's mind, that's for certain. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Rudiger. The ball with Luka Modric. Possession lost. Well, it could be on for him here. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. So underway again. And a 2-0 advantage here. Nicely timed tackle. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. It's a splendid through ball from Neymar. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's just see this again. What a pass this is from Neymar. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. So the action continues. It's been all PSG so far. And you sense there could be extra punishment dished out. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. A bit sloppy in possession. Mbappe. And a chance here. Hakimi! Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. 
Substitution it is for PSG. Doesn't want to give it away here. Modric. Azar on the ball. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two men. He's in with a chance. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.